I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand how to apply the technique of partial fractions to integrate a rational function. We need to integrate 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 1 dx. Now, any rational function whose denominator can be factored could be written in the form of partial fractions. So, what we will do here is, we'll work out this uh, integrand 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 1 as partial fractions. So, that is to say, as sum of two fractions, a over one of these factors, which is x plus 2, plus b over the other factor, which is x minus 1, right? So, that is how we need to write this rational function. Now, the right side, if I take the common denominator of x plus 2 times x minus 1, I get a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2. Now, if you open this up, you get ax and bx. So, if x is common, you get a plus b, right? So, or let me just open this up. So, we have ax minus a plus bx plus 2b. Okay. On the left side, let me write here 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now, at this stage, you can see that denominators are exactly same. So, numerator should also be same. So, we could write this as plus 1, correct? So, their numerator should be exactly same. Think as if we have multiplied by x plus 2, x minus 1 on both the sides. So, they get cancelled off. Okay. So, on the right side, if I take x common, I get a plus b, right, times x. And if I take, uh, I mean, I want to put this as plus here. In that case, I get minus a plus 2b, right? Okay. And on the left side, we have 5x plus 1. If you compare the coefficients, a plus b should be equals to 5, right? So, we could write this as a plus b equals to 5 and uh, minus a plus 2b should be equals to the constant 1. Is it okay? So, these are the two equations which we get. Let's number them as equation 1 and 2. If I add these equations, let's say if I do equation 1 plus 2, what do I get? I get a and a become 0 and b 2b we get, right? So, we get 2b plus b which is 3b. So, 3b is equals to 5 plus 1, 6, and that gives us b as 2. So, b is 2 for us. Now, if b is 2, I can substitute it here and say a is equals to uh, 5 minus 2, which is 3. So, a is 3 for us. So, we got the values of a and b as you can see, right? So, so these are the values of a and b. We can substitute them here, right? And then, rewrite the question in the form of partial fraction. Do you see that part? So, that is what uh, we normally do to find integral of such functions, right? So, let's get back to the question now. So, we could rewrite this integral as integral of a over a is 3 for us. So, 3 over x plus 2, right? 3 over x plus 2 plus b is 2 for us, plus 2 over x minus 1, right, dx. Do you see that? So, so that is all you have to do to get to this result, and this is most important. Most of the rational functions can be integrated in this fashion. Uh, well, the denominator should be factorable. That is important. Now, here, well, we could write this as integral of 3 over x plus 2 d of x plus integral of 2 over x minus 1 d of x, correct? And that gives you, if you find the integrals, you can substitute u as x plus 2, right? You get 3 and you can use the direct formulas ln positive absolute value of x plus 2 plus ln 2 times, right? 2 times ln positive value of x minus 1 plus c. So, that is the result of which you get from here, right? So, you could write this result as such or 
you can use the properties of log plus here means multiply them this power means that is the power there so you could actually simplify it further also so let me do a part of it we have ln x plus 2 whole q plus ln x minus 1 whole square plus c and uh, and then you could actually because they are getting multiplied you could also write this as ln absolute value of x plus 2 whole cube times x minus 1 whole square right plus c right so you could do that and at times you could expand and do a lot more but this is enough right now uh, ln the domain of ln is always non-negative uh, greater than zero right and therefore this absolute value is very important and now i hope that helps you to understand how to integrate rational functions and also the technique of partial fractions i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos feel free to write comments thank you and all the best